Tonight I'm excited to bring to you the Gerber Cable Dog. This is a very expensive, the most expensive US made multi-tool at this time. So this is a Leatherman Surge, comes in at four and a half inches. This is a Gerber, Gerber rather, Cable Dog, comes in around seven and a half inches. So let's go ahead and jump right into its very unique features. And at the end, we see that this notch right here is for the wire cable cutter. So let's go ahead and unlock this feature. And we see that right there is for cutting the cable. And then on the other side, it's for cutting the cat uh, wire jacket. So there's that action right there as well. And then further down, there is the spring, which some of you may remember from an obscure Gerber tool called the ground breaker. That was an electrician's tool, a long gone now, very expensive to buy, but that had a very similar looking spring as well. And then as we move down the tool, we find that we have an RJ45 crimper head and that is right here. So there's that tool. Now this is again, a telecommunications multi-tool and this was sold to the military and then they did come out with this civilian version. So this is a very specific, for a very specific market. So for most people, the price tag on this, which is somewhere over $500 on Gerber's website, 550 or so, will be extremely expensive. For some people that deal with very specific tools, that won't seem near as bad because you're paying several hundred dollars for a very specific tool many times. So for instance, in HVAC, you know, we have gauges where for field piece or testo, you know, it can be $600 or so. So it's not as crazy if it's a tool we'll use every day, but this is definitely not something for general use. So then on this side, this handle, we see it goes from 10 to 24 is the wire stripper gauge. Here's the back. And then we have glass reinforced handles as well. Now, I really like this modular aspect to the Gerber Cable Dog because you can remove this and then use this as a separate tool and then just simply slide this back on. So that's a really cool concept. And I wish Gerber had introduced that to some other of its multi-tools. It'd be great if they would do so in the future. But again, I think this multi-tool is several years old. So we'll see. Now on the handle on this side, on the left side, you'll notice that they have a bit storage for five bits and they have this punch down bit and then several Phillips bits and an extra telecommunications bit right there. And then this feels more like a rubberized plastic. This feels a lot harder on the side and it does have these grooves so you can grip it. These are very wide handles as well. The handles themselves come in somewhere around one and a half inches. Just, a, well, actually just over about one and a quarter inch. So there are fairly wide handles there as well. Now on the other side, which is the most interesting part of this tool for me perhaps, is the knife. It's got the serrated part to it and then the regular. And the gut hook, which we would call, but you could also use that to strip some cable, I suppose. Then it locks. You can unlock it right there, fold it back in. And then what I like is this full quarter inch driver right here. And with the bit, it folds securely in the handle. And what I love about it is that it locks as well. So this is your locking and unlock, well, your unlocking mechanism. It locks into place on its own. And then you have a screwdriver, which is very handy. Then you pull back and unlock it. And then you do have on the side a micro screwdriver as well. So that's pretty cool. Now, ironically, this is probably the part of the tool that would do the best on the open civilian market. So if Gerber would bring this to market, something designed a little bit differently, this might be a good seller, sort of like an advanced deluxe Gerber armbar. I could see this doing very well. It seems like that's more the multi-tool craze right now is a lot of these single handle multi-tools with many companies doing it. 
So I think this might have been something Gerber could have really latched onto, but we do still have the arm bar without locking the driver at this time. So then this locks back into place, and then you can lock that for the handles as well. And I believe that when you buy this new, you do get a pouch for this. I bought this used because $500, almost $600 for a multi-tool is a little bit too much for me. So I was able to get this drastically reduced on the used market, and I'm happy to be able to bring this to you tonight. So I think this is a unique concept. I think it's Gerber has done a lot of great things with this. Now, some people have complained that this tool, which was a whole purpose, they bought it, let them down. There's some negative reviews on this. Again, I'm not a telecommunications expert or a service guy, so this is not something I'll really be using. But I do have to say that I like the bottom part and how there is, again, that modularity, the bit holder system, that's pretty cool. But I think it will be a huge hang up to a lot of people that you can't fold these handles. So I think for a lot of people from the get go, that will be something that will be a no go because they don't want that large of a multi-tool hanging off their belt. All right, let me know in the comments below what you think. Again, the only American multi-tool that has this much modularity that I know of, also the most expensive multi-tool made in the US. A lot of people accuse Gerber of not making US made multi-tools, but this is probably one instance where some people might not care if they do or not. All right, I'll see you in the next video.